Hi everyone and welcome back and let's talk about another examples uh, related to the Redux toolkit and in this example we are going to fetch the list of posts and show them and that is with the help of Redux toolkit. Okay, I do have one simple app.js and here we are going to create our store like configure our store. So here we can say is const store equal to configure store and here we are going to pass the reducer and I mean the reducer whatever is we are going to pass it here. So reducer will be let's say the posts and your post reducer. post reducer and then we can simply create so we have the store so we can create a app component export default function app and inside this we can return so there is a provider inside the provider we can pass the store right and inside the store we can render our post list component we'll create the post list component let's see here import post list from let's see components So we'll create a src. There is one directory components, and inside that we can create post list. I mean, we you can create these slices here also, like post list dot slice dot js something like that. This is dot js, and you can put the test cases here and all. So we are getting the post list. This post reducer we are going to get from the slice only import post reducer from inside the component post list slice. Okay, it's all about making an API call, fetching the data, and showing the data inside a post list component. So we will work on the post list slice, and it is going to be the kind of similar example which we have done in the last video const post list slice equal to create slice and it is not auto importing things that I don't like import create slice from Redux toolkit so here we are importing create slice okay now uh, let's put a name which is posts initial state we can also define this object here and so inside initial state let's say we are creating all these variable each fetching which is a boolean which is initially false list of all the posts which is an array and error initialized with null okay Okay, so this is our initial state and all the reducers we can define these are like actions okay fetch started so we'll just create them fetch started okay we'll do something inside fetch started let's say fetch started is accessing the current state and here we can simply say is state dot age fetching equal to true similarly all the other methods in this particular case when the fetch success is there we will be setting up the data so fetch success 
or let's call it as a set post or whatever set error so each fetching is obviously false because either we got the success or either we got the error and then we will just set the posts here we will set the error error equal to something like okay whatever is we are getting inside action dot payload we will set that to the error and state dot posts will remain empty and here this auto complete always creates some trouble and here we are accessing state comma action here also state comma action this is all our uh, create slice and now you can see what all actions we are exposing we can just expose from here export const this we are exposing from post list slice dot actions so the actions we can say set error set posts and then fetch started and what we are going to do the we are going to export a default this reducer post list slice dot reducer this we will export from here and here we also have another function which is going to make the api call which is like fetch async posts any name which you like okay inside arrow function what it is going to return let's uh, put this like this and inside this it will return async return async dispatch not dispatch event async dispatch and we will just start using the dispatch okay dispatch fetch started so it will be a simple try catch block inside try okay dispatch fetch started let's start it let's call it and then const response equal to await and we already have the api url from there we will get the data okay i will copy that const response fetch and then const data const posts equal to response.json serialize it and this is also await we got the data finally and then we can just dispatch another event another action set posts I mean we have seen this this is like a last example it's very simple example we are talking about and if there is an error inside catch if we got any error then we will just call another thing that is dispatch set error set error and then that is e dot let's say error dot to string or I will set error object okay so this is it now let's go to our component and do the rest of the thing here we have created a slice these are the actions we are exporting this is the reducer we are exporting this reducer we are getting in the app component posts post reducer and now it's all about post list component so let's say export uh, function post list this is the functional component so we can get all the things okay let's say the posts i can get from use selector and here i'm accessing the state state dot posts now here is the catch because what i did is while creating the store i'm saying access things from the posts so state dot posts dot now 
inside the state of the slice we have three variables so it will be access like state dot posts dot posts and it's a word repetition but uh, what we can do so use selector we got all the posts we can also use dispatch const dispatch equal to use dispatch and then uh, it's all about how we write it so we can use use effect hook to make the api call use effect so here we just pass the empty dependency import the use effect from react import react comma all the dependencies we had from react and then inside use effect what we are doing is we can just dispatch the action fetch started sorry fetch post fetch post async posts this we need to import okay it's imported and now fetch async port we can also pass that as a dependency so it should stop showing warning or errors missing dependency okay dispatch is also a dispatch I mean these are just this is just a warning for me it can be simple empty use dispatch what happened with this use selector and we have to import use dispatch is it like asking me to add a dependency either include or remove it this is fine i never liked uh, this concept of passing all the dependencies okay then we can just simply return the data all right so this is our component return the jsx and inside jsx we are simply saying is show me the list of the posts all right so it can be simple ulli And inside this we are saying is posts dot map okay I got the access of each and every post and I can just simply put the title or whatever the the post I'm getting so we just need to pass the key do we have the unique key inside a post which is post dot ID and here it can be simply post dot title okay this is it so we need to return this this is the missing part here inside map otherwise how the values will be populated okay let's see this so I just think everything is correct export default function post list so here we are getting the component let's reload this I think I did a zoom so this browser was not showing okay now let's see the output if it's fetching true we should see something like that I will just reload the page This sandbox sometimes the browser acts very weird it doesn't show the output and we keep reloading the things because console is not showing any error or warning okay and here we see the output I was uh, I forgot to call this function that that's why it was not showing any output now I can just reload this and we see the output coming Okay, that's it. Uh, let's uh, see another examples for the Redux toolkit. Thanks everyone.